Well, my name is Helen Keeney. You, we are live here in the HSN studios and we have two amazing hours of mind finds. I've got so much brand new that you have never ever seen before that we're gonna be launching during this show. I wanna introduce my special guest. It is Mr. Jay King, who is not on the road, not traveling around the world, yet right after the show today, back out there to get more mind finds for us, yeah, right? Yeah, Monday, Monday going to South America. Ooh, it's so exciting to have you traveling again because I know when you travel, you bring us amazing finds from around the world. Yeah, and I'm getting, you know, like, uh, it's, it's really weird because everything's coming back online, but everybody's coming back online different stages and stuff. Yeah. I, just, I just got a visa finally into an area that um, I've been trying to for a while. Well, we're gonna five and five. We're gonna jump in right now. So the reason we're not talking about this for more than 60 seconds is I only have 30 necklaces. <laughs> this is a blue aquamarine, stunning. Vacari is our model today, looking gorgeous in this piece. Aquamarine at this size, I cannot believe, $179.98, three flex pay of $59.99. Okay, this is a brand new aquamarine uh, that we just got out of Mozambique. And I have to tell you, in 47 years, this is the highest grade <laughs> I've ever had in my life and we're dealing directly with mine. We got a crazy price. This is all natural. This, I, I tell you what, and this is just ridiculous for for the price. And this, look at, think about the carrot weight. This is all natural. This isn't treated. This is the real deal. This is precious aqua. Aqua marine. And again, we have about 30 necklaces. Now this necklace I had to put on because I know you love lapis. We don't have a lot of lapis. I think this might be the think only this, la this, lapis that we have in the whole two hours. Am this I right? is it. The this only is it. Lapis. And it's on clearance, which makes zero sense since lapis is the hardest stone to get on the planet Earth right now because of the region of the country of the of the planet where it comes from. It was two hundred dollars, one ninety nine seventy five. Today you're getting this gorgeous lapis and turquoise five row necklace at one eighteen ninety nine. I can't imagine that that one's gonna last well you know in here again you're uh, you're dealing with the design is amazing okay the, the original price was unbelievable this is all grade a lapis which is non-existent right now out on the market you cannot get it this comes from my private stock and turquoise hill turquoise Okay, so keep shopping I'll wear it for another couple seconds so you can see it this is the blue for shell pendant with a bead necklace the necklace is uh, 16 or 18 inches with a two and three quarter inch extender. And uh, just, uh, again, we di we don't have a clearance price because we don't have a lot of them. We don't have a lot, and this is this particular mill, this is blue for shell. And I got this, this actually comes out of the freshwater lakes in Texas. And I got it from, directly from the divers that actually dive for this. They brought it um, to New Mexico, where we're based out of, brought it to me in Albuquerque. And this shell is, it's like a, a hot pink, like a freshwater um, pink mother of pearl. It's got a really nice uh, sheen to it. Oh, it's again, beautiful. And you can see that like sort of pearlized finish. 804765, that went very quick. All right, Campitos turquoise pendant necklace. I know, the whole, I swear the whole two hours isn't gonna be this fast, but we don't have a lot and it's a clearance item. This is absolutely gorgeous, Jay. You get the necklace and the pendant? Yes, I believe yes, you do. Yes, the necklace and the pendant. And you know what's so crazy? This is Campitos Blue Ice. It is one of our very, really rare, rare turquoise materials. This is known for its real high blue. A lot of people think this is Sleeping Beauty. Look at the so clarity gorgeous. of this. This is crazy. And this is one of the very, very few times that we actually offered a necklace made out of this material. It's extremely rare, extremely expensive. And the, the reason they're doing clearance is we just have very few of them left. They, we never even really got to air this before. We did it one time before. All right, if you'd like to pick it up, it, it is available. Um, check out Citrine. Citrine pendant with the necklace. 812-529-167.98. Again, I have 25 available, super limited. The necklace is um, 18 inches with a two and three quarter inch extender. The pendant is almost three inches long. I mean, this is substantial citrine. If, you know, and, and the reason that we actually did this design originally here again, 
Um, you know, this is natural citrine out of Brazil. If you look at the pendant, can you imagine the size of the natural crystal that it took just to cut the, the cabochon in the pendant? It had to be a huge, huge crystal. Look at the quality of this. And the reason I did this is we were getting so many requests from our viewers for anything yellow. So we did yellow opal, and then of course the only other thing I really had was the citrine. So really an amazing, amazing deal. And again, this is part of our gallery collection. Yeah, and I don't think I've presented citrine from you. I don't even remember. Citrine is not something that you It's have, not like, something we do goes. very often. Yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's not something that, that we really work with. All right, so that is our five and five, and I'm going to keep you posted on what we have available because they all fly out the door. So let's talk about brand new. This is a launch of this gorgeous rhodochrosite jewelry collection. And again, talk about gallery pieces. Look at the silver work. Look at it, how incredible work and like these modern designs. It's just really stunning. Um, the necklace is 20 inches with a two and three quarter inch extender. The drop is two and three quarter inches. Genuine sterling silver. Everything Jay does is genuine sterling silver. If you're new to this line, every stone is genuine. Every precious metal is, is genuine silver. This is the real deal, even at these, and the sale price, there you go. So are we talking about this now? We are gonna, we're gonna take some time to talk about it. Or I need to remain silent. <laughs> okay, we so. We can take a breath now, the right. five and five is over. Okay, five and five's <laughs> over, this is good news for me. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm slow, but I get there eventually. Okay, so funny enough, this is, I'm going down to Argentina, and this is one of the guys I'm, I'm visiting with, the owner of this mine. This oh. is Rhoda Crossite. This is, as my grandfather would have said, this is rarer than hen's teeth. Okay, now well, I, I don't, don't know, know how rare hen's teeth are, but this is rarer than hen's teeth. This material, I, I have to tell you, um, it, it, it's, I, the rhodochrosite and I have a long history, right? Mm -hmm. Back in the 70s and 80s, I actually went down and you used to be able to buy rhodochrosite in Argentina, and then you would be able to export the rough. Then the government actually blocked it. The Argentinian government made it for over a decade they made it to where the only way you could bring rhodochrosite out of Argentina is in a finished product. Well, of course, I don't have a lapidary shop. I don't have, I can't set up a shop in Argentina just to do just one to do material, one, yeah. right? So normally how we would get around that is I would make like big ashtrays or something like that, and then I would export the ashtrays, and then I would cut it up and make it into something, right? That's how I've gotten around that before. Oh, but be, because it had to be in a finished product. But you're looking at something that is really, really rare. Extremely, extremely expensive. You cannot find this on the market. The only reason I'm able to obtain this, they closed this mine down well, it, they closed it for a reason, it caved in. But <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge uh, cave, a huge stope. And um, what you're looking at here, rhodochrosite, this is, there's stalactites and stalagmites, and then they harvest that. So you're looking at material that was gathered, harvested, well over seven years ago, yeah. if not going on eight years. And I just um, last year hooked up with him in Tucson, and went down and visited him last year. And anything you can do in this material, you, I mean, it is just impossible to find it on, there is no material on the commercial market. This is something that is really, really rare and is extremely, extremely valuable. Normally, when, especially this grade of material, when you see this grade of material, it's always in gold. Nobody puts it in silver because it's so expensive. And you're looking at the gem grade material right here. That is actually gem grade uh, rhodochrosite. That's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So the earrings, $134.98. The necklace is $299.98. They're both available on three interest-free payments. It's called FlexPay. However, if you have an HSN card, you already get a extra FlexPay. And I'm getting an update that we already have two sellouts. The lapis, I knew it. <laughs> well, you wouldn't buy that. I knew it. <laughs> What's I the only lapis we already have in two All hours? All right, okay. I wonder what the other one is, the Campitos. I actually... Don't don't forget about this aquamarine. I really think this is that's like the steal of the show. That's the steal and we of the show. only and we didn't we don't have a, have like 30 of them and that yeah. was in the five and five. So. But both of those, both, both of those, those yeah. Uh, you know that's the thing with our viewers. They they really they get they it. Get it. <laughs> they yeah. get it. It's not their first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh, we're gonna talk about that cuff 
five stone cuff. Let me tell you something about how to buy this. If you have an HSN card, which is our own in-house credit card, there's no annual fee, we'll give you a year to pay this off with no interest. And we don't always do this. It's, it comes out to $37.50 a month to get this five stone rotocrosite cuff bracelet, which by the way, I, massive. it's massive. And what I did is I, I'll give you a little tutorial on how to make it a custom fit is when you get a bracelet like this, never never squeeze it this way, always squeeze it that way for the best fit where it goes on your wrist and I'm squeezing it here and here and now it's a custom fit. I never squeeze it that way because you don't want to put stress on the stones. Just give it, and because this is a genuine silver, I give it, I've got a petite wrist, but you can see, it's per, and by the way, a guy could wear this, it's so huge. Yeah, this is massive and massive. here's the thing, uh, Helen's got a very petite wrist. I, I don't. Helen, as you saw, she put this on. She's still got plenty of room. I could actually wear this too. And it's yeah. because of how they're, they're made, right? We make them from sterling silver sheet material. That's what we give our silversmiths. And the key word there is silversmiths. We're one of the few jewelry manufacturers that are still old school. We still have silversmiths. Most of your jewelry, I'm not taking away from it, um, is uh, today is either stamped or cast, the, the majority of it. These are all individually handcrafted from sterling silver sheet. When you do that, you have to have silversmiths involved. I mean, you know, so this is something that is totally handcrafted. Um, it's massive. Even the price here that you're looking at, to be honest with you, if you went to any gallery, if you went to any gallery, if you were able to actually seal this material in a jewelry store, you could probably add a one or a two to the front of that number, and that's what you would have to pay. This, and again, with the rotocrosite here, this isn't just any common, normal rotocrosite. A lot of the rotocrosite on the market, if you do see it, is the real low quality, the real low grades of this. These are all A grades. In fact, in that necklace, you were looking at triple, uh, mm -hmm. the triple A grade material. So this is the material that we were only able to obtain just because we went right to the miner. The actual miner is where I bought it. All right, well, uh, again, absolutely stunning bracelet. Take a year to pay that off with your HSN card and VIP financing. New and exclusive, 832-966. Coming up in our show, have you ever purchased biscotti opal? Ethiopian opal necklace in biscotti or chiffon, that lighter color, or the, the darker one, which is the one you're looking at. Um, 18 inches with a two and three quarter inch extender. This is absolutely the fire in this, and I've got it in my hand, and I'll say, also, Jay, it's hard to show opal in a TV set, and I'm holding this up, and I'm, and I'm seeing the fire in every single one. Look at that. Here's um, some of the rough that Jay just handed me. You've got that lighter color, that chiffon, and the darker color in the biscotti. And look, I, I mean, me just kind of holding it up like this, usually you can't see the fire as well, but the, the, this, is, this is some magic opal right here. This is all precious opal. And this price is beyond ridiculous. It's just a stupid, stupid price. And this, every single bead, I, I will make this personal guarantee to you. If you try this and you get it home, Every bead, every single bead will have just the same amount of fire as you're seeing here in the natural material. This is all triple A grade Ethiopian precious opal. Oh my gosh. Look at every single, every single one. Yeah, it, single it one. doesn't really show well on camera. It's almost impossible. And you know, studio lighting does not help you. Um, but when you get <laughs> but this I'm home, amazed when you how get, much home, you're well, seeing you can it. see the fire. Uh, even here, you see the even fire. Even here, you see it, it. It's transition. But when you get it home, I guarantee you, when you open the box, and the key thing here, most of these strands, when you get them, usually like every fourth or every fifth bead might have some fire in it, right? <laughs> yeah. I will guarantee you, we got this directly right from the mine. Every, I, we got an incredible, incredible deal on the material. Every single bead will have fire in it. And not only, a, just not just a little fire, it'll have a lot of fire to it. Okay, so we're gonna continue on and talk about our next piece, tourmaline. 
and Spinel. It is a three row necklace and you're seeing all the different colors of tourmaline, Jay, in this quite a, um, we've got a, gosh, my eyes are really going now. Here we go. <laughs> this is the show, Jay. It's over. 18 inches with two and three quarter, because I can usually see the, some of the numbers, but now I'm like, mm, no, I got that right. Yeah. And by the way, let me show you the shepherd's hook, which is Jay has created to make it easy to put on and off. And every piece that you get, if you're new to Jay King, is gonna have this easy on, easy off. And this is the extender right here. And then there's the shepherd hook right there. So you just, again, you just, wherever you want it to go, a really pretty little heart at the end. But oh my gosh, all these different colors of tourmaline. It's, be, it's beautiful, Jay. Yeah, this is all a natural tourmaline. It, uh, this particular uh, material uh, was mined in Madagascar and got it directly right from the miner. Um, I designed this and what I did is I want to give everybody, always on anything that we do, regardless, we always give you the biggest bang for the buck. I mean, um, that's what we're about. We want to give you the best quality, we want to give you the best look, and we want to give you the best, best deal that you can get for your money in anything we do. And the reason we can do that is because just like in this case, we are the manufacturers. There's nothing on here that you know, we, we have the cleanest deal you can possibly have. And that being said, we, you know, in this case, we go right to the mine. I'm buying directly right from the miner. The design is done by us. We did design in-house. All the cutting, all the silver work, everything. We're hands-on on all of this. We're not, nothing, um, no, there were no components bought. And even the, our sterling silver enhancer chain, we even custom make that. That's all done in-house. So you're getting, think about this, how ridiculous this is. You're getting three strands of natural tourmaline. In a lot of cases, they call this watermelon tourmaline. They're, and they call it watermelon because it has all the colors, the greens, the reds, mm -hmm. um, yellows, um, you know, the, even, um, there, even in this case, there's even blues in this. But it's got the whole rainbow of tourmaline colors all in one design. And what I did with this, I actually, all I did is I took the natural tourmaline crystals and, you know, I, I started to cut these and facet them. And then I thought, you know what? That's insane. What, you know, that you see the colors really well. Why don't you just polish them and then string them and make, leave it more natural? And I did that, to be honest with you, also for, to, to really come in at our original price that we came in, which was a stupid, stupid price. And I did that because I didn't have to waste a lot of material. And now, uh, because we're down to the last few, they've offered this crazy price. I'm not doing that. You couldn't build it for that. You couldn't build it for that. You can't build it and sell it for that. I mean, I had a tourmaline ring once. I think it was <laughs> one stone. A pink. It was probably. pink. Yeah. It was one stone, it was pink, and it was maybe 40 years ago. And I think it was like five, six hundred dollars. One, and there was one stone on it. The, one you know, stone. and the pink tourmaline uh, is, I, the reason I knew it was pink was because they really market it, and that, that still today is the most expensive tourmaline. That you can, you have pinks in here. Yeah, but right, pink but there they are. Yeah, I'm but seeing pink, them. pink tourmalines <laughs> are the rarest and the most expensive um, uh, tourmalines that I'm aware of anyway. I mean, $75, $25 to get home, and you know, when you get this home and you just touch it, you can feel that it's genuine, the real thing. It has like a little, you know, kind of, if it's cool to the touch, cold to the touch, that's one of those ways that, like, I can tell if jewelry is, quote, you know, like, real, like, real, genuine, the real thing. That's, of course, there's many things that you do to test that, but this is genuine tourmaline and beautiful. See the little um, stones in between each one, the black? That is genuine black spinel that's been faceted. Black spinel is a very, very popular gemstone in jewelry to, because a lot of people want something black, but they want it to sparkle as well. And it's you can't even do that with a black diamond as much as you can with black spinel. So you're getting the sparkle in between each stone, which makes the lights like reflect and refract around the tourmaline. With, the, with beautiful spinel. Right, and you know, uh, we do that for actually exactly what Helen just said as far as it's a great accent piece. It also, it's a form of hematite, comes out of Thailand. It's fasted, so you get that sparkle bling. It's extremely, extremely hard. But also, if you look at what we're doing here with it, 
we get the color contrast, we get the bling, we get the sparkle, but also it acts as a pivot point between the natural nuggets. Yeah. So it's, it actually has a function where it makes yeah, it lay yeah. better and uh, makes it lay on the neckline much better and flow much better. Right, and you've got three rows. This is, th if it was one row for $75, I'd that be would like, be a, that, that would, would be, be a steal. Well, actually, <laughs> at, at, in natural tourmaline, a single strand at $75 would be a crazy deal. Normally, uh, to be honest with you, you did one strand this size, it would probably uh, be in the 110 to 119 uh, range. We did three strands uh, for the original price, which we really worked at. I thought that was amazing to be able to do that. Uh, incredible, it's incredible. It's $25 to get home, $25. Get it home, by the way, everything has a 30 day uh, guarantee. So if you get it home, don't love it. You have 30 days to wear it and <coughs> have your friends get compliments. And, uh, by the way, there's a few things on hsn.com that we're gonna give you a peek at. I've got a cashmere blue and hydrite necklace that was on a clearance price of $76.98. I love this color blue. I thought the price was incredible. I just wanted to make sure that, I know there's only two more shows today and then Jay's off on the road. And if you missed it, I wanted to make sure you were aware of it. Item number 790178. I love that necklace, Jay. Uh, and it's called, yeah, they, they call it, it comes from Peru, they call it angelite. And it's something I can't even get the material anymore. I mean, that you're looking at something that was one of the last designs that we were able to do. I, so. Oh, I just thought it was gorgeous. All right, well, I think everybody's gonna love this one. This one is brand new. It is the world launch. No one has ever seen it before. We talk about, you know, gallery pieces and just the artistry alone on this. Forget about the fact that the, it's Campito's turquoise with that beautiful, look at that blue. I mean, honestly, it does, it does kind of mirror a little bit the Sleeping Beauty, that gorgeous robin's egg blue. 20 inch necklace with a two and three quarter inch extender. And then you have all this silver, and by the way, let me show you the back. This is from, this is crafted from a sheet of silver. This isn't like a, something that, you know, this isn't, this is made by hand, handcrafted. You could tell, you can see it. So each one of these pieces of turquoise for the beautiful butterfly wings had to be individually cut and put together. This is just such an extraordinary piece, Jay. By the way, if you have an HSN card, we'll give you one year to pay it off. It's under $32 a month if you do even payments. And boy, would this be like an amazing, amazing gift. Mother's Day is coming up. I, I just love this. Yeah, I, this is the kind of design, just so everybody knows, um, that this is, a, this is the kind of design that uh, my wife, okay, Sheila, who yes. uh, you do, you, Helen got I to have meet met. her. I yeah. had the pleasure of meeting the lovely yeah. and talented she's, Sheila. She's British, so <laughs> nobody can understand the things she says. I understood her. <laughs> I, just, I understood her. <laughs> I've been married to her for a long time. I still She has the same birthday as my daughter, remember? Yeah, yeah isn't remember that crazy? That? Yeah. I talked to somebody else today, same thing. Okay, so what you're looking at here is part of our gallery collection. Now, the gallery collections are limited, right? We don't make a lot of these. These are things uh, as artists that we started out. This is how all four artists uh, that uh, work with me and my company, they're all, in fact, they're still gallery artists. They make one of a kind of designs that they sell to um, these real high-end boutique stores. They sell gallery. They do a lot of different mixed medias, mainly silver, but they also do gold. Um, I do still uh, design. I don't consider myself some kind of great artist, but I, I do have my own kind of thing that I do. This is huge. Think about the work. This is all hand done. And again, it has Campitos blue ice turquoise in it. I'll just be honest with you, on turquoise and the way the turquoise market is right now, I have people offering me more money for just my Campitos rough. They know I have it. Nobody has this. It is very, very limited. The only way you'll see Campitos is if somebody's like me. They bought it a long time ago. They have it in their private stock. This is not on the open market. This mine has been closed for over a decade now. This is one of the highly, highly sought after turquoise rough materials uh, that has ever uh, been mined. Uh, a lot of people actually, to be honest with you, I've seen people selling this as Sleeping Beauty. It's not, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna misrepresent it. 
But the reason they can get away with that is it almost is identical to Sleeping well, Beauty. I'm Only saying a that's what it, it remind, I was going to say. It reminds me because it's got that robin's egg Egg blue, blue and the clarity of it. And the clarity of it. Where it is Campitos, but it is also... Campitos in and of itself is a high-grade turquoise. Well, so even though we're comparing it to Sleeping Beauty, if, if like you say, this is Campitos turquoise, people are going to know that that's going to be that beautiful okay. blue. What makes this so different, though? Okay, in Campitos. So Cam Campitos was... I don't want to make a mountain out of a molehill. <laughs> However, I, I actually have footage of me flying over in Mexico, and uh, we circled it one day, and we filmed it. Um, we actually filmed the the mine, and it looks like it looks like a kind of a big hill, it's very sparse, very rocky. It's in the in the Sonoran Desert. Um, and it looks like giant gophers or moles have done, because there was there were literally dozens of mining claims on it's really not a mountain it was like just a giant hill and uh, that's you know the uh, the Campitos that's why the camps right um, there were only two of those claims that produced this color and this is the thing that's rare is the Campitos blue ice. And that's what this is. This is the Campitos blue ice. Nobody in their right mind would ever cut this up and make it into beads, right? <laughs> so what's that say about me, right? I've never no been comment. in my right mind. Okay, <laughs> but that is, it's not a profit deal to cut this grade of material into beads. And the reason is, is because your waste factor on cutting beads, if you want to waste as much rough as you can possibly waste cut beads out of it because you lose so much of the weight. The only reason I did this is um, I had a lot of small material left, small nuggets, and so I thought, you know what, they're not big enough, I can really cut any big calves, so I went ahead and cut them into beads. Uh, it's not something that, it, that you normally see or you would do. But here again, this is really, really limited. I don't even have a lot of this material left. I'm kind of down to the wire. This was one of the last real big major designs that, that we'll probably be doing in Campitos Blue Ice. But this uh, turquoise is something that's highly collectible. It's extremely, extremely rare. You do not see it on the market or the commercial market. Like I said, um, I've had several people that know that I'm sitting on this as well as other of my turquoises. And right now, the way the turquoise market is, especially for this high clear blue material, they're offering crazy, crazy money. I mean, I could never, I could, I could never sell anything f uh, finished for as much as I could just sell the natural rough. So that just shows you how collectible it is. Also with Campitos, and I don't know if you noticed, but um, one of the things you can tell on it, do you see the pyrite? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, this, if you see any matrix in this, and this is how you can really tell it's Campitos. Let me show it to show, everybody. Show them, this is the natural rough. This is this, natural rough, and this here's is a little what pyrite in from. there. Okay, and if you see, if you're going close on this, do you see the little pyrite crystals? That's what sets Campitos. That's one of, of the anomalies that this particular turquoise has. And that is when you see matrix in any design, if it's real Campitos, it will be pyrite. It's not like a, an iron oxide or, or a, a red oxide or anything else, um, or a ferrous oxide. Mm -hmm. It is actually hematite. It is iron py uh, pyrite. So that's the only way on this, the beads are all completely clean. I mean, the calves are immaculately clean. Where you would see it is maybe here and there. I could see some of the beads on Vicari's where you can actually see that, that little ma uh, matrix speck. Okay, so keep shopping again. If you have an HSN card, we're doing VIP financing. You get an entire year to pay it off. It, it's under $32 a month. This is brand new. This is the launch of that beautiful Campitos necklace. Now, free shipping and handling when you spend $75 or more. How about <laughs> saving $100 on a purple Kunzite bead necklace? Look how gorgeous. That's, this is $100 off, Jay. Did Jesus. you see that? <laughs> Uh, $99.98, three flex pay of $33.33. Your item number to get in on this is 808931. 808931. I love this color. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty for spring and summer. It looks amazing with all your pinks and berries and all, all your, like, it looks incredible with, with white, like a white gauze dress, and this looks like amazing. 
So um, more, more amazing things to come. All right, so we're gonna continue on and talk about a cuff and a ring that I'm wearing that you see there. This is from the Southern Arizona Turquoise Jewelry Collection. The ring is on sale for $104.98. The bracelet is $279.98. And it is big, it is bold. The ring is five through 12. You're saving almost $25 on the ring. Um, and excuse me, Angela? Oh, size 12 just sold out. Oh, five through 11 only. Sorry about that, five through 11 only. But big and beautiful. Um, this is like a big, big size for me, so I put it on my like the middle, middle finger, but it's just, I mean, it could be like a huge cocktail ring. It's ginormous, Jay. Okay, you know, this, this material, you're looking, you're looking at the last two designs you'll ever see in this material. For oh, me. really? And, okay, we were talking about the rarity of the Campitos Blue Ice. This is like beyond, in fact, if Campitos Blue Ice is rare, this is like on, in the next county. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> so this this is the last. Uh, it doesn't even have the phone number. No, no, it you, doesn't even have an area code. It doesn't even have an area code anymore. Um, okay. This this material um, was found. It was found in Cochise County. So anybody who's ever been on I-10 and has gone from New Mexico to Tucson. You've been in Cochise County regardless if you know it or not. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yes. There's no way that I'm aware that you could transit uh, uh, to that, that uh, stretch of the road without going through Cochise County. And this is a friend of mine. Um, we found this, oh my gosh, it's been a, uh, probably 10 years ago, maybe even longer. Uh, he called me up and he says, you're not going to believe this. He said, um, a friend of mine um, in Cochise County is grading a, uh, grading a road on his ranch. And all of a sudden, the road turned turquoise. <laughs> and what it was, was it was a surface deposit. Um, his friend called him because he knows he's in the turquoise business. He went out. They were able to mine the material. I mean, literally, they were scraping it at, when they were doing the road. They, mm. they actually ran into it. They, there was, they tried to chase it for a while. They took this big hole in the road and everything. And they got, they got material out. Uh, and then it just kind of like died. They, they, they did some boreholes, they tried to find it. And then the problem with it uh, too, to be honest with you, it was, it was kind of, it was in a grayer if it was on BLM land or not. <laughs> you know, so uh, it was on his ranch, but, uh, but maybe you know, like the deposit would have gone on to BLM. Are you and confessing so to a crime right now, Jay? I, I, like, I had nothing to do with anything, <laughs> okay. okay? Especially a federal crime. But on BLM land, right? Um, you. You have to go through a permitting process. The TV is on, by that the way. That would be, well, like, it would be impossible to do. Okay. So this material, I guess in my humble way, I'm trying to tell you, if you want to collect, okay, if you want to collect turquoise and you want things in your collection that are rare, 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 you cannot go wrong with this. This is that natural high blue. If you saw the matrix in it, it's like a caramel matrix, like a gold mat matrix. That's all natural. Th this material, you literally, these were the last two designs that I was able to do. I, I have specimens of this left, and I'm not giving up on those. So even, okay. if, even if you're my family member and you beg me, okay, okay. I'm, I'm not going to make you was anything. Was that specifically okay. for Sheila? The, this was, <laughs> this was the, the last. I wouldn't even do it for Sheila right now, okay? Uh -oh. I mean, I, they're uh -oh. my specimens. Well, I, then I don't have it in my case. Then you I don't, don't, then you don't I have, have no, a complete collection. I don't have a complete collection. <laughs> yeah. And I always have at least one really cool specimen of any turquoise that I've ever done. If you ever come to my studio and you see my studio and you see my collection of specimens, I have two shelves of turquoise that have to be 25 feet long and eight inches across, filled with turquoise specimens. And of those shelves, there's maybe, I have maybe a dozen of those turquoises now that I have productionable quantities. The rest of them, you can't get them. They're all collectible, but you can't get them. And this is one of those. This is going to be highly, highly collectible. It was just a freak accident. I don't know if anybody else even has this material. Yeah, just, it's gorgeous. I mean, I'll... Look at the size of it. Look at, yeah, it's, it's I mean, really it's ginormous. Same thing with the cuff. It's huge, massive. 
And this is a friend of mine. Actually, do you remember when we used to do the turquoise bowls? Yes. Okay. They would, Th yes. This, we this is, never can get those in. I got this material from the man that used to build those turquoise bowls. You ought to see what those things are selling for on, online and stuff. People are retailing them. They'll never be again. I mean, he, he has no more rough to supply so that we can even make the bowls. I have people still requesting those bowls. I, yeah. And we, we, we can't get them. There's no way we can make them. I think we had them before holiday, like last time, like years they would and years sell ago out before for like we half could a even, show. No, we, before they I never they had them in air. my show. I yeah. remember them selling out before they even got to my show. But <clears throat> it was, gosh, a long time ago, those bowls. Here's something else that is, we're not, we don't have time to do a full presentation, but I wanted to show you this Sapphire Station necklace. Multicolored genuine sapphires. It's eighty-nine dollars and ninety-eight cents. If you go to your local jewelry store and say, "What do you have for sapphires?" in a sapphire station necklace, they might have a sapphire station. This is something that they might have a sapphire station necklace, and it might be thousands of dollars. I mean, honestly, look that up. Everybody at home, get your computer out because I saw this for eighty-nine ninety-eight J, and I thought, "How are you doing that?" Well, I'm not. <laughs> okay, even my original oh, price. Okay. okay, my original price was more than fair, if not incredible, incredible to even be able to do it. Incredible, 161, yeah. Right. So they're doing this, and the reason is there's just not that many of them left. But what you got going on here, okay, the yellow sapphire, and all three of these sapphires are natural sapphires. Let me point that out. They're not enhanced. The majority of any sapphires that you see out there have had some kind of enhancement process. These are natural. I, I left them natural. I could have enhanced them and even made them better, but I just left them natural. That's a yellow uh, sapphire. That comes out of Tanzania. And then if you go down, are we going down? If we go down? Yep, we will. Here, the magic of camera. <laughs> we're, dri okay, we're driving the train. That is a blue sapphire. That comes out of Malawi in Africa. And if I had more time, I would tell you funny stories about Mount Malawi and going through security there at the By the airport. way, his version of funny is terrifying <laughs> to the rest of us. Go ahead, Jay. <laughs> okay, and then you got that pink sapphire, which we talked about pink tourmaline earlier. One of the rarest colors in sapphire, the most sought after in a sa sapphire, and that comes out of Mozambique. All right, so again, the item number is 818 We're taking a teeny little break, and we come back, Jay, and I have more surprises. I'm Christian Siriano, and I'm a fashion designer. I really wanted to bring something whimsical and a little bit of fantasy and fashion to HSN, but still something that was very wearable and beautiful. I've designed and dressed first ladies, fashion icons, and movie stars, and now I get to design for you. Only at HSN and HSN.com. Here at HSN, we base our retail values on nationwide information. Retail value is an indication of the price you would expect to pay for the same or similar item elsewhere, not the price at which you would be able to sell the item. Prices do vary around the country, so ours might be different from prices in your area. For more information, call one of our customer service reps at 1-800-284-3900. Get the best deals on the things you love with the HSN card. As an HSN card VIP, you'll get all kinds of perks, like VIP financing on so many items, plus extra flex on every item under $369, all day, every day, and at least eight VIP savings events a year. Includes fraud protection, and there's no annual fee. Apply now and instantly get $10 off when you're approved. Call 1-800-695-1418 or visit hsn.com slash hsncard. acquiring different stone, people don't realize these are not renewable resources. When they're gone, they're gone. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Jay and I are live in the HSN studios, and if you're just tuning in, you've missed Jay confessing to a few crimes. <laughs> and <laughs> talking about his I travels. I hope you're not taping this. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry. Nobody's paying attention no, to the no, stories. Like, They're just looking like at the jewelry. You're throwing me under the bus. <laughs> no, no. I'm here to protect you. <laughs> I'm here to take care of you. Uh, we're going to continue on with the, our next variegated green opal. I've got earrings that I'm wearing, and we also have a necklace. And if you love 
big and chunky, which I know you do, that this, this is for you. And let me also say the earrings are, I love the way you do earrings. The French wire is very, very strong, but delicate. It is easy to put on and it is not too heavy that it pulls your ear. So I, I love that. And you can see that on me because I'm wearing it. But here is the earrings. They're $69.50. The necklace is $173. I love this gorgeous green. I mean, I will tell you that that is like the color of the season. I know we had a, this, this color right here. So when, when you see um, Juliana, one of our fashion designers, had a, like a trench coat and the green sold out first. Like literally anytime we get this Kelly green, it flies out the door. So if you bought something um, in this gorgeous green color, think about getting this, this uh, variegated opal jewelry. And it just looks incredible. I, I just, I, I mean, I don't, don't think I've even seen anything like this before. This is a, actually a brand new opal that we get. And for people who haven't shopped with us and really, you know, don't know kind of what the Mind Finds uh, show is about, we, you know, we literally, Mind Finds is really sums it up. We, we go around the world and we wow, look at that. Direct, divide directly right from the mines or the miners wherever possible. It's very rare that I don't. Um, be able to go direct. I mean, there's certain things like lapis. I can't go into the Hindu Kush region of, of <laughs> Afghanistan and trade with the people and survive anyway. <laughs> so, um, you know, but in most cases, uh, we're out there and we have such a huge, we've been, I've been doing this for 47 years and I'm very fortunate that I know so many miners from around the world. Um, when they find something new or they hear about something new, they'll always give me a call. To, you know, they'll uh, hook me up. And that's actually how I found this. It's a variegated green opal. It's a natural opal. And you know, our, our main thing that we're known for is that we're known for, um, we're, we're absolutely known for the fact uh, that we have probably the biggest array of turquoises from around the world in productionable quantities. And I say that because a lot of people have collections like I have where you have all of these rare turquoises. But you don't have any enough material. You have that specimen, right? You don't have material that you could actually make designs in. So that's what we're known for. The second thing that we're known for are opals, and opals from around the world. And this, you know, for people who collect opals, and there are so many people that I personally know, and I'm so fortunate that we've got followers that have, um, they, they also do what I do. They're raw counts. They like to collect, they like the unique, they like the unusual. Um, I can't say that I have an exclusive on this particular uh, material. I can't say that I, because I don't own every, the mine or, this isn't really a mine as much of as, it was a surface deposit that a friend of mine who, who was mining something else, they actually found it. It's a natural opal. And this is the natural color of it. It's one of the most unique. And then this is, Fresh, it's brand new. In fact, you're getting to see it for the very first time. And this is um, a brand new, fresh design. And I designed this, you, it's got my fingerprint all over oh, it. Oh, I totally <laughs> knew you designed that. I so, told, and everybody, listen, I love the big and chunky. When I see that, I'm like, okay, Jay did that one. Let me ask you this, what, variegated green opal, when you take, you don't just eyeball it. There's a bunch of tests that you go through before you come on air to say what it is. Oh, no, you know. Let's uh, talk about that. Okay, well, there's not a single thing here. Uh, you know, I've been doing this for 47 years. Do you know, like, I, I can look a lot of things, even when I'm in the field. You know, you can do uh, hardness, you can do street place. There's just things that I can look at a formation a lot of times and say, okay, that's going to be an opal or this is a jasper, this is an agate, it's a calcity, whatever, you know, uh, whatever mm -hmm. it really is. I've been doing it for a long time. But you, the, the only way that you actually can, can determine what it is, is, um, and the, actually, to be honest with you, the only way that we can actually show it to you on air here and call it opal is it all has to be uh, GIA certified, Jim, Jim Institute of America. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Gemological Institute of America. So the GIA, they're the ones that certify all the diamonds, the emeralds, the rubies, everything. So we have to send just, not just us, anybody who s shows you jewelry on Home Shopping Network, it all, I guarantee you, has to be 100%, you have to be able to present the GIA certi yeah. uh, certificate for that particular rough. So GIA says it's a natural opal, and so it's got their certificate. Now, we also have a gemologist, but we have a geologist 
that is not affiliated with GIA, but uh, a person who's highly educated. And he actually is from the mining industry. And um, we have them test a lot of ours before we even send it to GIA. And th that's how we well, originally knew it was Well, you don't want to make 50 necklaces before you know what it is. <laughs> well, we, we don't even do that. We get the rough materials in. And, you know, even from the time that you see your first sample of the, the rough material to the time that you actually get it out of the ground and get it, a lot of times, you know, it takes, uh, it's not like I just call up and these places, they just send somebody to go pick it up. Right. A lot of times it might take six months to get it out of the country. And then you get it on a container and then you send it on a ship and right. it goes to the cutting shop. So like um, I found this, what, three years ago? Maybe even going on four years ago. And you're now just seeing it in a design. All right, well, beautiful. Again, it's just incredible green opal. The earrings, the necklace is 18 inches with a two and three quarter inch extender. But we're gonna continue on here. I wanna jump over to hsn.com to show you some of the specials that we have. We have, listen, we're on live a lot, but we can't show you absolutely everything and spring has sprung. So we're gonna go to hsn.com and show you like some of the beautiful specials that you see on hsn.com. All right, beautiful flowers. I know we were outside yesterday If you, from Leaf and Petal. If you wanna like zhuzh up your outdoor space, you can do that. All right, I am putting on this necklace. By the way, you can see how easy it is to put it on because of the shepherd's hook. I or am even show them on color cards, I think maybe. Yeah, I think I might do both. Yeah, Just that is cool. cause I got some, I think I wanna show some pink. See what that, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. So <laughs> we're so excited about opal because opal is like magic. And this is, the sh this is the chiffon, which is the lighter one. The one I'm wearing is the biscotti, which is the darker one. But what you need for opals to sparkle is light going through them. And in this TV studio, it's always like a bit of a challenge. But what, what I will say is, Jay, I think these have some of the most brilliance and fire I've ever seen. And even with our ginormous TV lights, it is still, like you still can see the magic dancing in each and every one of these incredible ones. And I know that you have a sample th of the actual rough. Yeah, this is what the rough looks like. Now this is a specimen. A, a lot of times you wouldn't get something this big. Um, what Helen's holding in her hand right there, okay, with what she has in her hands, wouldn't even cut one of these necklaces. And oh, she's, really? The, what she has right now, that specimen in her hand, would not have enough material to cut that necklace. You'd probably need about something about three times this size. Now, this is a specimen. A lot of this material doesn't come that like that, that the, in the big pieces. It's smaller pieces. And that's why you can cut beads out of it or you cut cabochons. It's all in different sizes. But this alone, this specimen alone, that cost $1,800. That was $1,800 worth of this grade of precious opal material. Oh so gosh. when you look at this price, this is beyond stupid, right? <laughs> and if we'll I cut this, okay, if I would have, and I go directly right to the mine and I buy directly from the mine when I buy my precious opal, Ethiopia. You know, 95% of all precious <gasps> opal Ooh, I like that. in the world used to come out of Australia. And um, believe it or not, hardly probably 5% now comes out of Australia just for the reason they're not finding it. It's not mined, it's unbelievably it. expensive. Ethiopia, a few years back, took over the precious opal market. It's the only country that I'm aware of right now that is producing a uh, precious opal. Now, what is precious opal? Precious opal is what you're seeing here. Precious opal, what makes precious oh opal precious is the fire, the absolute fire in it. Now, here's the big deal and why this is such a great value. Like Every single bead in this necklace will have amazing fire. Mm -hmm. Now, when you get it home and you actually put it in real light and you're not putting it in the studio light, you can even see fire here Wait till you get this out of the box, and that's the great thing. You know, you're under no obligation. You open this up, but check out the fire. Right. Everybody's amazed. You know, and, oh, you know, there, there's that. You know what? I will say the biscotti, the darker one, in this particular, I, I has the most fire. Usually, the the darker one is um, 
I don't know, like sometimes one's more popular than the other. I, I see it in the darker one. I feel like it's almost harder to have that fire, yet this one has more of the fire. It's really incredible, the biscotti. What, what's amazing is both of them are, have amazing fire. But what's really amazing about Vakari, you're showing, okay, she's in the worst lighting possible. <laughs> you're gonna show this light. And absolutely, We're gonna get her No, no, going actually, if you all got together, <laughs> and I, I'm sure this is why this happens, yeah. they all got together and they said, what is the worst light that we could actually show jewelry in uh, to all of our people? So they, when they get at home, they're gonna be so amazed <laughs> right. at the quality of what they got. We're gonna lower their expectations <laughs> so much. If, you, okay, well, think about this. When you go to a jewelry store, have you noticed that their cases- it's in a case with the light. With Dancing, special, special lighting, lighting makes it dance and glow. Yeah. Okay, when you take this material and you get it home and you're in natural light, actual natural light, wait till you see it comes to life. It's amazing. Now, here's the deal. When you buy these, if you normally if you go like to Tucson and you're at the Tucson Gem and Mineral Show, uh, and you see these, the wholesalers, they sell these things for eight, in this quality, for eight, nine hundred dollars a strand, unfinished, twelve hundred a strand. It all goes on carat weight. But when you look at them, the strands, you'll have like four beads uh, that are just kind of okay. One bead that's great fire, right? Mm -hmm. And then like maybe a couple beads that's marginal or no fire. And then, so they're not all. I will guarantee you this personally. Every single one of these beads, and this is why I, I actually uh, was uh, did this deal and got this deal directly from the mine, where every single Solitary bead has amazing fire. This is precious opal, and this is just a ridiculous, crazy, crazy deal. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've seen, look at that. I mean, you're kind of seeing it right here in this really close up shot. It looks like each one has like an, a living universe inside of it. That's what opal looks like. Yeah, you know what you're seeing, you know, and the reason that precious opal, it's you know, what you're seeing is the light. It's yeah. like little silicon balls, and what you're seeing is the light reflecting back at you. Uh, it's it's ama it's really amazing. All right, now we're going to talk about blue opal. <coughs> I have me. a necklace, and I also have a. I love these bracelets. Oil bracelets that have the coin. Yeah, from the, from the original Slinky that you created. <laughs> No, these, you know, these are not. Okay, so I, see, I date myself, and I should never tell you things like this because you have an incredible memory. <laughs> I remember everything Incredi you ever said Incredible to me. Mem memory. Um, yeah, you know, when we, when we used to make these, when we first started doing these in the 70s, of course, my hair was much longer, okay? And let's just put it this way, I didn't have a lot of pressures in life. I, you, know, I was, you know, I was just kind of a free spirit. No mortgage. And we, we used to make... Um, these coil bracelets, and we used to take slinkies and cut them up. And you know, slinky on the wire and stuff, yeah. it's not the best. So you would have these huge nuggets. I mean, so they were you know, like, one of these days, I, I'll go see if I can dig one of those out of my collection and show you. And you would go, that's cool, but wow, you know, you've really improved. Now <laughs> we actually make um, for these coil bracelets, we actually have a special finding, a jeweler's finding that's made just for that. And they're a great, they're not only comfortable, I don't know anybody that they won't fit, right? If you've got a really small wrist, they fit. If you've got, you know, a larger wrist like me, that fits. I mean, they, they just fit perfectly. It gives you that multi-layered um, look. Um, Bakari is showing you the, okay, this is, of course, that this, you can tell it's my design, right? Yeah. <laughs> this big bolt. This is a very unique, special, rare blue opal. Um, this material comes out of, a, out of India, of all places. I, and when I say that, I, I, have, I do a lot of business with Indian miners around the world and a lot of Indian traders around the world. I meet a lot of in, uh, Indians. Um, but to be honest with you, there's very few materials that I actually are mined in India itself. That's interesting. And this is one of the materials that I get. Um, uh, for people, I've told this story, but for people I have, that don't uh, know the story, this actually comes from an, an abandoned open pit mine. Now, I'm not really sure what they used to mine. It was either tin or nickel or lead, something like that. It was some metal that they were mining. And when they, um, they have a picture, I, we actually have pictures of the mine where it's this huge open pit mine. Um, and, oh, they're going to bring them up. Oh, look at that. All right, the magic of TV. The magic of TV, so, yeah. I want you to see this. So there, there's the mine where this comes from. And it's a huge open pit mine. But what do you not see in that mine? 
There's no equipment, right? There's nothing. Normally you would see like huge trucks and huge equipment. Right there, do you see that uh, the, uh, one of the local villagers? He's standing next to the seam. Can you see the seam that's in the rock? The, just above him, right by his hand, there's actually a blue seam. And um, what they do is they go, they go down, they have um, a piece of pry bar, uh, like rebar, and they've sharpened one end of it, and they actually pick that out of the walls. And then they take it to a friend of ours who pays them by side, uh, color, and then grade. He separates into three categories. Sometimes it takes us as much as a year uh, to two years to actually put together enough rough material that, that will ship it, right? Um, but this is a really rare natural blue opal, and it's a blue opal like this is very, very uncommon. It's really hard to come by. This is actually the only third time in 47 years that I've had a blue opal material. It's $89 off. The necklace is 18 inches in length with a two and three quarter inch extender and the center drop is one and nine sixteenths of an inch long. We're now gonna talk about the wrap bracelet. It's seven and a quarter inches. Uh, free shipping and handling, by the way, uh, for everything that is $75 or more. So you're, if you spend $75 or more, you get free shipping and handling on your entire purchase. So maybe you're getting one of Jay's necklaces, you know, go back and get some laundry soap. Go back and get some, you know, anything that you need on hsn.com will be free, sh free shipping all day. This coil bracelet, I'll tell you, you will get so much wear out of it. You know, one of the things from working here all these years is uh, we check with the stylist. Jerry's styling our show. Jerry's here on the set. And before we come out on set, I'm like, Jerry, what do you think? And she'll go and she'll add a bracelet. She'll always like zhuzh up the sleeve and put a bracelet on. Yeah, Jerry, I'm talking about you now. <laughs> she's <laughs> thinks she's the same <laughs> She's looking over Jerry, at her. I'm literally talking about you. Okay. So, um, so I, I, I wear denim. 99 times out of 100, I've got like jeans on. That's all I have. That's all you have, that's all <laughs> Jay owns. What I'm saying is you pop this bracelet on and then there's your outfit. Like the outfit I'm wearing from Marla Wynn. There's a picture of Jerry. Now we're even literally showing Jerry. Oh, now she's paying attention. Okay, <laughs> Jerry, I've been talking about you for 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> so there's Jerry, our stylist. So it's, it's, like, it's like zhuzh up the sleeves, add a bracelet. This is going to fit you. Some bracelets, that are bangles, you have to try to fit over your hand like this. And then you measure this part of your hand to put it on. But the beautiful thing about a coil bracelet is no matter how big or small, it's just gonna go right on and it's gonna look fantastic. It has sparkle and it has that those denim colors too. Well, you know, the thing with um, uh, coil bracelets is they're just so user and wear friendly, yeah. right? They're really, really simple and what I like is that you get this multi-layered look. Mm -hmm. And it's one of the few, I mean, what is the biggest thing with anything? Like rings, cuffs, yeah. bangles, especially, especially bangles. It's all, you know, about sizing and fit, right? Right. This is something that when they say, I, I say, I, I never say one size fits all because there's always an exception to every rule, expense. right? One size but, fits most. Yeah, so I say <laughs> one size fits the majority or most people, uh, you can't go wrong. And it's one of those things that's so simple to put on and you've yeah. got that multiple uh, layered look. You'll, you'll love it, you'll absolutely love it. And it is of course, blue opal as well. Again, natural. And, and on sale for $30 off. Right. Natural blue yeah. opal. And the rarity of this uh, material, uh, just so you know the history of me and blue opal, in the 70s, my very first opal material actually was a blue opal out of Peru. My very first trip, uh, that I ever did in South America. That's actually, I went down, I got blue opal, pink opal, and honeycomb opal. Um, and then the second time was a, a material actually in America. And this is the only, the third time that I've actually had blue opal. So it's a really rare, rare color of opal. All right, in our last couple minutes of our first hour, Jay and I have a whole other hour, which we're gonna jump right into. We're gonna take $100 off this beautiful, purple kunzite bead necklace. And you know what? Let me get a couple purples and lavenders and show you this just how pretty this is. And you don't have to wear this with something purple, but I'll show you some like lavenders. And I actually, you know, my favorite is to wear it with greens. I love this. But I, I mean, this is just an incredible price. I mean, $100 off a very popular stone. And this is genuine kunzite. 
Yeah, you know, and here again, this is what, and I'm, I'm not really sure I'm supposed to say this or not say this or whatever, I mean, but I, I know I get in trouble for certain things I say, but stupid, you're not supposed to say this is a stupid price, but this really <laughs> is a stupid price. And I, I truly say that because uh, we are the manufacturers. I know what it costs to make this, we made it, right? I know what we sell this for, and I know what we, we sold it to HSN for. So, I mean, this is just, uh, just a crazy, crazy value. And this is an exotic, okay, this is an exotic stone. This is a material, normally um, uh, I get this material out of a mine in Brazil. This is a mine uh, actually in uh, Nigeria. And most, it, it's 